to God be the glory and praise, I would like to share another dream that I had that this is uh, July 11 of 2016. It is also a very short dream. I saw myself standing in this uh, one-story uh, building. So it's like a commercial or mechanical or industrial kind of building where I'm seeing like two huge doors. I don't know if it looks like a French door, but there's like a, a two door. And I was standing in front of it. I was actually on the street. And uh, if this is the street, this is the walkway. And I was standing just in front of that uh, in front of that door. And then I saw this lady coming out of that building. She's holding a statue, but it's only a head of a person. He, she's holding it, holding it in her arms, and she just walked out of that, um, um, uh, you know, she passed through me, going to the street. And I saw myself, I was holding this card. I have this, you know, um, a card with me. Naturally, there's a tire and everything. So I was standing while looking at the door, um, and at the same time, the lady passing by. Then all of a sudden, I noticed that the cart I was holding fell off. It fell down on the, on the ground. And as it, fall down, as it fell down on the ground, I knew that something spilled from this cart that I was holding and it passed through the, like a manhole. But the difference with this manhole is this. Uh, usually when you look at the manhole on the street, when this is the street, the man they have that circle thing, and that's the manhole, right? But in this dream that I have, if this is the street, and this is the curve on the street, there's actually like a hole in this in this side of the curve. It's like um, that's the area of the manhole. So anyway, probably that's where the drainage when there's flood or something that's where it's passing by. So anyway. I I felt the cart down on the on the street. It spilled something and it went through that whole area at the curve. And I knew immediately that there's like a gas or something that fell that fell out of my cart and it went through in there and there's also a gas inside that manhole. It's like under the ground. There's like a lot of gas under the ground, plus the mixture that fell down on my cart. When it mixed together, it's going to explode. And so suddenly, when I, when I, you know, when I saw that something spill, and they will mix immediately in my mind, it's like I was told to run, to run because there will be a huge explosion. So I was running away from it. People were running. And at the same time, you know, I have that feeling that I have to run as fast as I can because there will be a huge explosion of gas. And so as I was running, I saw this six by six military truck filled with people. And then they were wearing uniforms. And they actually stopped and picked me up and I was inside their wearing uniform. And in my dream, I saw uh, my family inside. So they're representing Asians, right? So I guess this military that are inside the six by six truck are milita uh, Asian militaries. And they actually drove fast away from the area because we all know there's going to be a, a huge explosion. And so anyway, I was trying to reflect on this dream. I just realized that um, I was just thinking, would this be uh, the Asian or the Chinese camp that they put in the Philippines right now? That there will, there's going to be an explosion? There will be a problem with the gas? Or there will be some technical things that might cause the explosion? I don't know, but... What I'm thinking is there will be an expl what I'm seeing is there will be an explosion. I'm seeing Asians in a military camp. So I was thinking this could probably be uh, 
the Chinese camp that they just built in the Philippines, I think in the Palawan area, and I heard from my mom, they said uh, they're actually preparing like uh, war cars or whatever. So whatever it is. So what is this all about? Why are people plotting evil? When you go to Psalm 37 verse 12, the wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes at him with his teeth. In Psalm 31 verse 13, or I'm sorry, Psalm 21 verse 11, though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. Why did the Lord say this? Because you know what? Even if they're thinking to eliminate all the Christians all over the world, they're not going to succeed because the Lord is going to take care of his children. Who devises evil? When you go to Psalm 140 verse 2, who devises evil things in their hearts? They continually steal, stir up wars. So let me ask you, who devises evil? It's the devil himself. He's putting his tiny bitty children all over the world to devise schemes in different ways in order to eliminate the children of God. But brothers and sisters, our God the Father is the most powerful God ever. And there's no one. He's the great I Am. And He created the heaven and earth. So He's the only one who can put it there. He's the only one who can get it back. So the devil is just nothing. So these schemes will go back to them. Why did I say that? Go to Daniel 11 verse 25. He will stir up his strength and courage against the king of the south with a large army. So the king of the south will mobilize an extremely large and mighty army for war. But he will not stand for schemes will be devised against him. So even these people in the south, you know, I know I came from Southeast Asia. But even these people, and, and I just realized that in my dream, it was China. And so um, I was thinking, whatever schemes they're going to do, it might kill other Christians who are meant to die at that time. But this will still be affecting them because it will really also eliminate them. So we have to remember, brothers and sisters, God's promise to each and every one of us. Whether we die in natural calamities, whether we will be die with beheading, or whether we are going to die with this explosion, and praise God, if He's going to take us in a rapture, we have to remember His promise to each and every one of us. Go to Psalm 23 verse 4. The Lord said, Even though... I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. Praise be to God. The Lord said, even if we walk in this valley, the shadow of the valley, a valley of the shadow of death. So it means whether there's flooding that's going on in your area right now that you think like you're not going to survive even if you think that there's fire everywhere and you're going to die you know that the people around you are being captured and going to be beheaded even if they're going to collect people and they're going to put them in prison for their faith always remember the promise of the Lord he's not going to forsake us He's not going to abandon us. He said, when you are going to be persecuted, don't worry about what you're going to say because the Holy Spirit who is living with us is going to say the words that needs to be said according to the will of God. So, brothers and sisters, we have to continually read the Bible. We have to continually bear fruits and we have to continually encourage one another because God is not sleeping. He's keeping an eye to all his children. He's going to gather. There, he's going to gather each and every one of us and he's going to divide. If all of us are going to die, 
He said he's going to divide. He's going to separate the wheat from the grass or the weeds. And the weeds will be thrown in the pits of fire. And the wheat will be collected and be protected in his barn. So brothers and sisters, the Lord loves us so much that he's going to take care of each and every one of us. So we have to continually pray and be strong on our faith because we have to stand until the end, until Jesus comes to get, to get each and every one of us. Brothers and sisters, Jesus loves you and God bless each and every one in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen.